Hi, and welcome to the very first episode of The Geek Bakery, making geeky delicious. To commemorate the upcoming release of the next generation of games consoles, today I will be baking cookies shaped like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X controllers. It's going to be quite a simple bake to get started with. You'll find the instructions and ingredients in the description down below, so if you do want to bake along, by all means. So, with that, let's get started. First things first, you want to prepare your ingredients. For this recipe, we'll be needing 400 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of caster sugar, 200 grams of butter softened, one egg beaten, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, you want to beat the butter with the sugar until you get a nice creamy texture. This can take a few minutes and a bit of elbow grease, but just go at it. There we go, we've got the butter and the sugar combined to a creamy texture. Next, you want to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And the egg. And then beat until well combined. Next, you want to gradually add the flour mix in until it forms a nice dough. what we're looking for, nice soft dough. What to do is just drop it in a bowl, want to cover that in cling film and then pop it in the fridge for half an hour to 45 minutes just to let it firm up a bit. So the dough has been resting in the fridge now for about an hour. It's time to roll it out and we're looking for it to be about five millimeters thick. You can either roll it out on a floured surface or just on a bit of baking paper. Personally, I prefer to use the baking paper as it makes it easier to transfer the cookies onto the baking tray once you've finished. So let's just roll out. So our dough is about five mil thick now. So it's time to cut the cookies. Now I've made these templates just by using an image I found off Google and a old plastic folder. It means that they're reusable and they're not gonna damage the dough in any way. Simply all I need to do is put them on top and run around them with a knife. Xbox controller cookies and two 
paste station. Now just transfer these onto the baking tray and then drop them back in the fridge for another half an hour or so just to let the dough cool a bit more before baking. Now is also a very good time to preheat your oven. Do not forget to do so. I have done that so many times. So 180 degrees centigrade or 450 degrees Fahrenheit for this recipe. So the cookies are now cooled. The oven is up to temperature. It's just a matter of putting them in the oven and baking them for around about 10 to 12 minutes until they're a nice light golden color. If you're just wanting them as they are, if you don't want to uh, ice them, cook them for just a couple more minutes longer, uh, just to give them a nice deeper gold. So the cookies are cooled and ready to be iced. I will be icing them using a mixture of icing sugar and milk. I find the milk helps the icing sugar set firmer and helps keep the colour a bit stronger as well. But first, you need to outline the patterns of and the designs of the cookies. To do this, I will be using an edible food pen. These are very helpful, lets you draw on the cookies themselves and it's 100% edible and suitable for vegetarians as well. So for these cookies, I am doing the standard PlayStation 5 controller colors, white and black. For the Xbox controllers, I have decided to do the shock blue controllers. Now the reason I've chosen to do this is because black food coloring tastes absolutely horrible. You need to use quite a bit of it to get a good black color. And unfortunately, that's reflected in the taste. So I didn't want just a black cookie that tasted horrible. So there we go, I've mixed the icing. As you can see, it is thick, but still quite runny. I have made this a bit thicker than normally would do because we are going to be adding some of this black food coloring. Now you want to add a little bit at a time. Remember, you can always add more, but you cannot take it back out. That will do, I think. So with the ice and mixed, you want to get yourself just a small glass and a disposable icing bag. You can pick these up from most shops that sell baking goods. They're usually quite cheap. I think I've got a pack of 20 for about a pound. And put it in your glass like that. And then just gradually spoon the mixture in. go. And just lift the piping bank out, twist the top, get the icing down to the tip. Now what you want to do is cut the smallest hole in the top. If you make it too big, you're not going to be able to control the flow of the icing that well. Hold your ba icing bag and then follow your outline.
So by doing the outline first, it allows you to control how the icing goes when you flood it. And you can just use an odd finger just to tidy it up. So now we'll move on to the blue. So another batch of icing made up, and this time we're going to use a tiny bit of this blue gel food colouring. It is very thick, so you need to squeeze quite hard to get any out. But with this one, a little goes a long, long way. the blue done. Now just the white.
there we go. So the main colours finished on the cookies. Now I'm just going to wait for them to fully set and then draw some of the highlighting and detailing back on with the pen. So it's the next day. Unfortunately when I was editing the videos I realised the last one where I was adding the details unfortunately was corrupted so I'm afraid I can't show you that bit. But I can show you the finished pieces. So I have the PS5 controller. As you can see I've used the pen to add some detailing onto the icing. And the same with the Xbox cookie. I do like how they come out. I think I've got the colours quite close to the actual controllers. Do need a bit more practice with the pie pen. But hopefully in later videos we can see some improvement. But thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If this is something you'd like to see more of, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and we'll be posting some new videos real soon. See you later.